Oh, that's funny. They've actually got a, a lawn care business card already taped to their door. Looks like it's been there a while and the mailbox is zip tied shut. So it kind of looks like someone lives here, but I guess we'll talk to a neighbor and figure that out. Excuse me. This uh, house right behind you with the crazy tall grass, uh -huh. is, is it vacant? Uh, I know it belongs to somebody, but to tell you the truth, I'm not sure if you would have to go to the city and investigate because I know the lady who used to live there, her niece is the one that owns it. Mm. And I'm not sure what she's done with it. I know the city has fined her numerous times about her lawn. Oh yeah, is it always tall? But you don't know if anyone's living there right now? I don't think there's nobody staying there right now. Okay, well I appreciate it. You're welcome. Thank you. I've lived here almost 20 years. I've never seen it this bad. Hey everyone, Spencer here with SB Mowing and I found this house where this lady passed away a few years ago and the yard has been crazy ever since. I saw the next door neighbor out mowing so I had to stop and get a little bit more details on the property. She told me that once in a blue moon the city does come to cut the yard but usually it's just crazy long and whoever the home got handed down to after the owner's passing is getting a ton of fines from the city. So I thought I would get cleaned up to make it look so much better for the neighborhood and increase the drainage in the area and hopefully the owner decides to drive by at some time and see the it looks so good and just decides that they want to finally sell it. But this transformation turned out so good, so be sure to stay till the very end of this video to see the awesome before and after photos. And I do have some really exciting news that I'm gonna unveil later in this video, so be sure not to miss that. Anyways, I really hope you all enjoyed this one. I hope you have a great rest of your day, a great rest of your week, and we'll see you next time. SB Mowing, out.
Ran out of trimmer line. Gotta get some more. All right, we got our big bunch of string. And what you do is you turn this until the arrow on the top lines up with the hole. And you can see all the way through the head. So you take your line and you feed it right into it. Going straight through and you'll see it come out the other side right there. Then line this up. Make sure that it's equal. Just like that. Doesn't need to be perfect. I'm just a perfectionist. And then you take the head and you hold this part up here and you twist this part. What it's doing is it's sucking the line in, automatically just reeling it up in there. So you don't even have to take the head off, which is super nice. And boom, you're gonna keep weed eating. Been, I've lived here almost 20 years and yeah she passed away some time ago but she was the one who had like a lawn service come and service her property I've never seen it this bad after she got sick and passed away nobody kept up with it anymore. that's too bad yeah because it's a lovely property the back door it's actually like like cracked open Wow. So I, yeah, that that's what made me think that someone might be like trying to live in there or squat in there or something. I wouldn't be surprised if someone is because nobody looks after it. Yeah. There's nobody here. No one comes around. After she died and they had, I think, a wake or some reception or something, that's the last I saw. And that was like two, three, maybe four years ago. I don't know. So it's been a while. It's been a long while. Oh yeah. man. Well, I mean, hopefully once they, if they drive by and see it, the yard's taken care of, maybe they'll get the encouragement to come and, you know, either sell the property or do something with it. I know, because I've never seen that house look this bad. But that's All right, well, have a good one. You too. Be careful. I will, thank you. All right, everyone, so now that we're done with all that work, it is time for the exciting news that I hinted at earlier in this video. Sitting over there in the back of my truck is a brand new mower that I am so excited to use. But I'm not gonna tell you what it is just yet because I wanna do a cool edit of me unveiling this new machine. Let's get to it. All right, if you guys haven't noticed yet, this is a bad boy mower. And this model in particular is the 36 inch Revolt. But I've been playing around with this mower quite a bit because as you can tell from the previous clips, I like to go pop wheelies, do 360s. I like to do all of that crazy stuff because if a mower can't handle that, I don't want it. And there's probably a lot of questions that come along with this. And one of the biggest ones is, why'd you switch to a bad boy from your Hustler mower? And to be honest with you guys, I was just ready to get something new and try something out that's different. And I've got no complaints about my Hustler mower. Every mower has their pros and cons and the Hustler did everything I needed it to do. But something cool that really put me onto this mower is that it's one of the only 36 stand-on units that has a 23 horsepower motor. Most of these types of motors from other companies come standard with a 15 or a 19 horsepower motor. 19 was what was on my Hustler, but bad boy goes all out and they put a 23 horsepower motor on this machine. And so I really 
really think that the extra four horsepower is going to go a long way, especially with the crazy tall stuff that I cut. And that was the first thing that kind of got me interested in this mower was the bigger engine because that's what I really need. But overall, I'm just really thankful for Bad Boy because when I caught interest in this machine, I reached out to them and said, hey, I'd love to run your mower on my channel. And they were super excited for the opportunity to partner with me because they're big fans of my work and they really wanted to see their mower do that crazy tall grass. And so they brought me and Mrs. SB down to Batesville, Arkansas to see their entire production facility where it's made in the heart of the US of A. And it was super cool seeing raw metal turn into this beast of a machine. So thank you so much to Bad Boy for your support and continuing this type of work that I do. I really, really appreciate it. And if you guys are interested in checking out a Bad Boy product, they've got residential mowers, commercial mowers, tractors, anything you can really think of. Anyways, let's test this Bad Boy out and see how well it does on this crazy, thick, lush, new growth grass. The hardest to cut. Let's do it.
Gotta love that Aspen fuel, baby. Whoops, just a little bit too much. I wasn't watching. All right, everyone, so I was gonna finish weed eating this whole back area and kind of clean some of this brush out of here, but we have an issue. There is my arch nemesis, poison ivy. Um, it's kind of scattered all throughout here. I don't think I've hit it yet with my weed eater. I'm gonna go home and make sure that I wash myself off real good with some like with some dish soap to get all the greases off of me and the oils, but it is just scattered through here. I'll zoom in right now so that you guys can kind of see the three leaves, you know, the little thumbs on the outside of the two leaves. Uh, this stuff is nasty, guys. Um, it's not worth trying to uh, remove it, weed eat through it, because I always get really, really uh, sick with it and get rashes like crazy all over my body. And so we're not gonna deal with it. So we're gonna leave this back corner section as it is. It's the only section where I've actually seen the poison ivy, but I've got one more thing I wanna do. We're gonna go up towards the front and trim all those bushes to kind of make them not look so shaggy and then trim them back so that whoever eventually buys this place or fixes it up has easy access to the front door. Let's do it.
All right, everyone, we just got done with this one. The sun is going down. I got done everything I wanted to get done and it looks so much better. I've had like three neighbors stop and say they've never seen this lawn look this good since the ladies passing about four or five years ago. So I'm really happy that I could get it looking a lot better for the neighbors. It was a mess to begin with, but it looks so much better now. And my initial thoughts on the Bad Boy Revolt mower is I love it so far, but I'm really excited to put it to the longevity test and see how it does over 10, 20, 30 crazy yards. Anyways, if you are watching to this point, I really, really appreciate you watching to the very end of this video. It's really the best way to support this work that I do, and I couldn't continue to do it without each and every one of you. So I really hope you enjoyed that one, and if you do want to support me further, go check out my merch store at sbmowing.com. You can get the shirts that I wear on all these crazy cleanups. Anyways, I hope you all enjoy these before and after pictures, and I'll see you next Friday. SB Mowing. Out!